This is the personal and, I suppose, professional recording of one Ignatius Divest on my exploratory journey towards the center of the galaxy. Not sure how far I'm going to get. Uh, I started my trip from Horowitz Orbital, and that is in the Key system. I'm now here at Priestley Colony, and uh, where the hell am I again? This is called a uh, Laud 8. Not sure who's naming these damn places. Even my home planet of Key 2 has an absolutely wonderful name. Uh, it's Key 2, if you didn't catch that. Uh, Neck of Space is relatively lawless. I haven't really come across a location that's been, well, up to standards regarding security. I did check out a small blip on radar, which was just a freighter uh, seeming to fall out of super cruise didn't seem to be asking for any help and the local security did show up but you know, they just gave me a little scan and then scuttled off didn't seem to help the freighter either so I suppose that's all right uh, anywho as you can see I made quite the trip there's a local system to the key called Parnut that's where I have one of my ships stored after I bought my new baby Anywho, I'm going to be making the trip here to Pissium. <laughs> my final destination for the moment, anyway. There's a little system called LFT 1723. This happens to be near the Pegasi and Capella. <laughs> I'm hoping to make it all the way to Vega, maybe even Arcturus. I believe there's quite a bit to be had in Arcturus, and well, that would be my that would be my uh, preferred destination. But as you can see, a trip to the center would be uh, relatively daunting, and uh, I don't know if there's much in it, uh, honestly. It does seem to be something of note, at least on the map. Where the hell that is. Just had this keyboard and mouse installed in my cockpit. I find it much easier to navigate. Is that a black hole? They don't teach you about this shit in school, I'll tell you. Anywho, I don't think I'm going to make it all the way out there. It's a long, long ways. Nevertheless, let's keep on heading. Maybe we'll finish up here in Abbey. Looks like a nice little crossroads we can end in. Hmm, it's a whole new direction, eh? That's fine with me. I don't know what the hell's out here anyway. Well, since this is my first recording, maybe some introductions are in order. I spent most of my life grounded in Key 2. Ship released. Helping out my Engines family. engaged. Landing gear retracted. Hello, girl. I didn't really know my father, but most people think uh, that doesn't really matter, and I suppose they're right. As long as you're raised by somebody, it's better than being in one of those orphanages. At least back on key, uh, it was uh, not a happy state, I'll just put it that way. Nevertheless, Mother and I were pretty close, and uh... Frameship drive charging. As close as we could be. All things considered. I'll let the old girl tell us about how we're about to jump. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, engage. She is a bit loud. I might have to reduce her volume to make this recording work. And these onboard computers sure are uh, you know, commanding. Not like it was at the academy. Speaking of which, oh, hey, Jesus, every time. You never get used to it, really. Anyway, uh, my mother was part of an experiment, something going on. I had to 
feed us, and unfortunately all the trades on key were pretty bare bones. The planet, though it is, as I'm told, Earth-like in many respects, is not exactly a prosperous one. Overcrowding has already become a major issue. Uh, there are some orbital stations that have tried to take the heat off of it, but honestly, it's not done too much. <clears throat> Nevertheless, uh, Mother was out on uh, one of the orbital stations doing some government-sponsored research. I won't tell you exactly which government because, well, I'm not interested in a bounty on my head. Not that they can catch me where I'm going. <clears throat> Anywho, uh, we didn't see each other much. When we did, we got along all right. I was mostly raised by my... by myself, I suppose. Uh, I had some friends, but uh, for the most part it was just trying to get out a get out a key system. <clears throat> Finally been able to do that, taking odd jobs here and there. Uh, academy was a bit rough, but uh, nevertheless, I made it out. And I got my reasons for making money. I suppose that's what this is about anyway. Just getting enough money to get what I need to get done taken care of. And if that means flying, collecting data, making enemies here and there, and some less scrupulous ventures, that's the way it's got to be. <clears throat> so anyway, if you're listening and watching this recording, uh, and I'm still alive, that is, you need a good man for a solid job, well, I'm your guy. Let's have a jump, shall we? After I reduce the damn volume on this old girl, we'll be back. Give me a second to cut this damn thing off. How do you do this? Alright, I think I got this damn thing recording again. Uh, the old girl's volume should be reduced. Let's have a test. Frameshift drive charging. <laughs> That's more manageable, at least. Ugh. Alright. Oh, Jastreb. Like I said, these names have to have some significance. I mean, there isn't just somebody throwing darts at a board of letters, is there? I mean, come on. Ugh. Ugh. Man, hyperspace creeps me out. What the hell is that noise? You know, they never told you to expect this shit in the academy. Uh, oh, Moses. We're doing okay on fuel, I suppose. Yeah, we're doing all right. Luckily, I got this fuel scoop installed. It's gonna make it so if we're ever stranded out here in the middle of nowhere, I'll still be able to well, rescue myself. <laughs> Man, that shadow always creeps me out as well. This feels like there's something just above you, you know. You look up and... I always feel like every time I look up there's gonna be something there. Might have a poke around, I-10. <laughs> Maybe uh, kick on the discovery scanner. There's places worth it. Hmm. There we are. star. Might be worth a trip. Well, let's have a poke around first. There's already a couple of stations here. We're not going to get much information that people don't already know about. And if Zachary's controlling the section or sector here, well, it's probably locked down pretty tight. There's some hunting to be done. Hmm. Who's he traveling with? Hmm. Interesting. I don't know how comfortable I am taking on a 
pair of novices. I mean, if they are flying, one of them's flying crap. I think I'll let them be. Let's move on. Frameshift drive charging. Ah, come on, old girl. You hold together on me on this next jump. I'll give you a nice coat of polish when we get into port. <laughs> that is if we get into port. Here we go. Careful about that damn heat gauge if I have another my systems blow out on me, I swear. Take a snapshot. Warning, taking heat. Damage. Oh dear. for onboard safeties. I guess we're not going to be able to scoop much out of a brown dwarf anyway. Let's set course and get the hell out of here. Gonna get toasty in here. Damn, I'm already starting to sweat. Oh, here we go. Haha. <laughs> Whew. Man. Yeah, we'll be all right. Come on, girl. Oh man. Probably should pay more attention to the sensors and the maps. Whew. Oh, we all right. We all right. I hope. Yeah, not so bad. Oh boy. So far, not much to see out here. Sorry if y'all are getting bored to tears. Hopefully our next destination will be a little more interesting. But with a name like Pissium Sector VKNA73, probably not. <laughs> Not much here. Let's take a scan and move on. Uh, just another star. <laughs> uh, it is pretty amazing. 
don't think I take it for granted, but still. I'm certain there has to be something else out here. <laughs> well, not out here, apparently, but you know. Out here in general. Let's get a little smoky in here. Oh, man. This whole scooping business, you really gotta... Gotta manage your heat levels. Quite a trick. Get back in there for a little more. There we are. Try and keep our distance. around that signal. I can grab a little, little bit of salvage while I'm out here. I mean, I know it's not technically legal, but still. He looks okay. And a little warm. Hey, at least we're almost refueled. <clears throat> now, where's that signal? New keyboard, I told you. <laughs> Still getting used to the controls. The trick is really to come in nice and slow. God, I've never been the most patient of men. Come on now, little girl. want a nice big hug. <laughs> Find out what the hell that was. <laughs> Superconductors. Oh, now we're talking. Those are worth a few creds. Even on the black market. Not that I wouldn't know anything about that.
Ooh, dear. <laughs> Come on, girl. Oh, I can't believe I ran into that damn canister. This video is not supposed to make me look like a boob. Shouldn't be long now. Just a few jumps left. And be able to set this old girl down. I believe is a Nami if I remember my schooling. Some sort of Japanese deity? Something like that. Not quite sure. Anywho, I'm not gonna stick around too much. Fuel scooping. Unnecessary. But well, thank you, dear. Hang on. Curiosity is killing my cat. Where is that damn thing? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm slowing down. You slow down. No. I need better thrusters. Gotten so used to my little eagle. Alright, unknown, what you got for me? Goodies. Hopefully, ones I won't smash into this time. Cargo scoop deployed. Hydrogen. Uh, let's see how you guys are. Ah, damn it. One day I'll get the hang of this unwieldy thing. Bingo. Next. Stay on target. Bingo. the coop. Good thing the feds don't even know this place exists. I wonder how these poor sods get out here and combust. I guess they just come out hitting the hyperspace and then having a nap. That's a good way to die, I'll tell you. Last thing you see is bright, beautiful lights before the system explodes. Frame shift drive charging. And away we go. Just two more jumps till we get to that crossroads. I'm not one for art, but this shit does get beautiful on occasion. And I know what you're gonna say. Well, isn't it like all the others that you've seen? 
zipping around. Well, yes, but well, it's just so damn magnificent. Even the thirtieth time you've seen an L star it is still glorious. How could I say no to that in little imitation? Hello, darling. I will not overshoot you. I love you too damn much. Get in nice and easy. Alright, here we go. Come on now. There we are. We're ready. Hi there. More treats. Bio waste. <laughs> Hardly worth the cargo space. Eh, but I suppose everything has a price. Even actual garbage. Well, that no longer has a price. I paid attention. detours, I promise. Just a quick scan, and we can leave these sectors. Okay. One more jump. stars can get tricky. Alright, here we are. Holy crap. Frameshift drive charging. I think we've maneuvered sufficiently. Alright. Dangerously. Still within accepted limits. It's going up pretty fast. Time to break. choices. Yeah, neat looking gas giants too. Let's see. Well, let's start with the uh, little ball of steel over here. Gretchko. <laughs> hmm. 
Nobody else? Yeah, it's not that funny. I'm gonna have to go through the star. Yeah. Just around it. Let's slow down. Almost there, and we are home free, and I can get myself a nice little glass of whiskey. This place doesn't have. Oh, there better not be an alcohol ban on this little backwater. Oh, that would be problematic. Hopefully, this little place has a little nook I can sell my recently acquired goods. But I suppose we'll have to see. Seen a lot of system security. Or any for that matter so far. So we'll find out. And here we are. Yeah, I'll tell you, even these backwaters at least have a semblance of society. Docking request granted. Good deal. This is taken nice and easy. No need to make anybody suspicious. Sixteen. There she is. Ooh, he's in close. See if anybody wants this crap. Yeah, I thought they might. Note to self: Bio waste is not worth it. Holy crap! What was that? Other note to self: Superconductors definitely worth it. Oh man! Oh man! for the entire trip. Mm. Oh, I'm done. See you all on the other side. Fly safe.